Welcome Cryptopians to Total Crypto Updates, bringing you another video for real deep dives into the crypto industry. I can't promise to only speak about crypto, but I can promise everything will be overstood. Let's dive into today's very dense crypto update. In an article posted on Crypto Potato stated, a surprise tax bill is on the rise. Investors, traders, and corporations' tax implications? Nobody wants an unexpected tax bill, but it's possible. Tax consequences depend on residency. The IRS has not released particular instructions on the merge in the US. ETHW airdrops are liable to income tax for ETH holders, similar like BCH in 2017. IRS guidance is clear. The UK treats ETHW airdrops differently. The recommendation implies no income tax upon receipt. HMRC has issued guidelines on a one-way transfer, citing the Ethereum main net to beacon chain upgrade. It believes Section 43 of the Taxation of Chargeable Gains Act 1992 applies. Merge did not trigger a capital gains taxable event. Instead, your existing ETH is assigned to your ETHW token, and any subsequent sales will incur a gain or loss. Investors and traders can stake ETH for rewards. Even if tax guidance is ambiguous, they should be conservative with awards. After the merge, U.S. holders must pay income tax on mining in capital gains tax, CGT, on staking. Staking is a difficult topic and a legal case is ongoing, therefore this may alter in the future. ETH staking and mining earnings constitute miscellaneous income in the UK, liable to income tax upon receipt and CGT on disposal. Depending on activity, organization, risk, and commercialization. Also posted on CryptoPotato.com A German crypto bank Neri will close owing to the crypto winter and unfavorable macroeconomic environment. Customers can withdraw funds from the platform until December 18 and trade until November 30. Neri has been seeking VCs and acquirers to fix the company's financial woes created by the crypto winter. Despite ceasing operations, the company supports blockchain and digital assets. Walker Mayer says these technical developments will create future opportunities and bring value to people's lives. Cryptoglobe.com stated, Binance, a leading cryptocurrency exchange, has reported that in its third batch of Terra Classic LUNC, token burns, it destroyed 2.5 billion tokens in a single transaction, permanently removing them from circulation. The cryptocurrency community is positive on Terra Classic in the long run, with coin market cap price projections revealing that the dollar LUNC community anticipates the cryptocurrency's price to increase by more than 500% by the end of the year. Binance's recent burn coincides with the Terra Classic community's adoption of Proposal 5234, which cuts the tax burn for on chain dollar LUNC and dollar USTC transactions from 1.2% to 0.2%. Binance is in favor of the change. On October 18, the Cardano Foundation tweeted about the Cardano ballot. This is a proposed decentralized application, DAP, for voting. Aside from the aforementioned update, Cardano's NFT sector appeared to be making inroads. Cardano has reached the top three NFT chains, according to Stockwitz, a data and discovery platform. Furthermore, nearly a million NFTs were exchanged in the last 24 hours, according to OpenGint data. In addition, the transaction volume reached at about 2.6 million ADA. Cardano now has a higher NFT trading volume than Immutable X, with $968,000. It came in third place, trailing Ethereum, ETH, and Solana, SOL. Among the most famous NFT platforms that supported this movement on the Cardano chain were the Ape Society, Spacebuds, Claynation by Claymates, and Derp Apes. In an article posted by Cointelegraph states, South Africa's financial regulator, FSCA, announced on October 19 that the country's 2002 Financial Advisory and Financial Intermediary Services Act, FAIS, had been revised to define crypto assets. Crypto asset is a digital representation of value that may be electronically traded, transferred, and stored. It employs distributed ledger technology and cryptography. 
The notification declares crypto assets financial items. Under the FAIS, a financial product is a security, debenture, or any money-making instrument financial service providers licensed in South Africa can offer it. South Africa ranks 30th in the world for Bitcoin adoption, according to a September report. 10 to 13 percent of South Africans have cryptocurrencies, according to estimates. IRS crypto reporting requirements are expanding. New Form 1040 indicates digital assets will be taxed like digital assets. This year's document includes NFTs, cryptocurrencies, and stablecoins as digital assets. It contains digital representations of value recorded on a cryptographically secured distributed ledger. Taxpayers must indicate if they obtained digital currency as money, a prize, from mining or staking, or through a hard fork. Taxpayers must also indicate if they sold, disposed of, traded, or gifted digital assets. Taxpayers can say no if they just held a digital asset, transferred it between wallets, or bought it with actual currency like the US dollar. It notes that PayPal and Venmo crypto purchases aren't reported. The IRS urges users to not leave any inquiry unanswered. Taxpayers can declare digital assets as capital gains or regular income. The link to the 112-page regulation draft document will be in the description. That will conclude today's update on trending news in the crypto world. Remember, the social media platforms will be up and running next week. With the last channel being deleted, we must now start over. Don't forget we have a $50 giveaway for when we hit 200 subs and followers on all social platforms. We also raised the giveaway for 1,000 subs on YouTube to a $200 giveaway. Don't miss out, all you have to do is like, follow, subscribe and tag as many people as you can. We will be watching who tags who and keeping tabs on which one of those tags actually followed and subscribed. I repeat, this is not a random drawing. Anyone can compute the giveaways themselves. Good day, good night, and goodbye.